Hi there Firebirds fans and welcome to The Fire Place. I'm Tom Mitchell and once again we're joined by Claire McMenamin. Claire, well I guess at least one Queensland team won their State of Origin clash on the week and of course the Birdies getting up over the Swifts. I'll tell you what, it was gritty but it wasn't pretty was it? I couldn't think of a better way to describe it, Team Itch. It had lots of elements of the girls just grinding out a win and the Swifts didn't back off at any time either which was Amazing to see because they just kept going and going and going and it was wonderful to see the Firebirds withstand that pressure. But an error riddled game on both parts for both teams and unforced errors a lot of the time. And when the Firebirds are trying to push to have wins, the next step now is to put some polish on that performance and have things moving a little bit more seamlessly than what they did the other day. Well, I guess to help that, Rose now for the past two weeks has played the same starting seven for the full 60 minutes. What does that tell you? Yeah, well, that's something Rose traditionally has done in previous years. She likes to have a set starting seven. What it's allowing the girls to do, though, is search for that consistency. So they're just finding their groove. They're being able to work through those tricky patches get their timing on song, get their combinations grooving. What we just need to be careful of and what Rosalie and, and Jenny Brazel, I'm sure are very aware of is ensuring that the three players that have been on the bench for the past couple of weeks, Laura Klamisha, Kim Jenner and Gemma Mai Mai, that they are not being left behind or left out. And if they're needed to be utilised in weeks to come, that they're able to be injected into the game really seamlessly because we know the importance that comes from having depth on your bench. And that's why Swifts yesterday were able to stay in the game so beautifully. They utilised their 10. Doesn't necessarily mean we need to, but we just need to make sure that if we need to, we can do it. For sure. Well, that brings us now to our Suncorp Team Girls moment. And we can't go past the Firebirds' defensive unit as a whole. Claire, they're really starting to click right across the board now. They are, and I think we're seeing a lot more cohesion from them. And that's not just in terms of Tara and Laura combining really beautifully together. It's also Mahalia and Gabby out the front being able to work well with the girls behind them. I think our first phase centre pass defensive structure is a lot better than what it has been previously. There's a lot more clarity of communication and the girls are having a bit more variety in that. And it's then transferring onto second phase. So we're seeing them work for harder and longer to stop that penetration of the opposition team getting to the circle edge. First and second quarters on the weekend, Swifts were having to work a hell of a lot harder than what the Firebirds were to get depth and penetration down court. And it's that pressure bandage effect of that defensive unit doing that work repeatedly across four corners, which is allowing those intercepts, tips, touches and deflections. And for my mind, Team Itch, Tara Hinchliffe just did a mountain of work the other day and she was a bit of an unsung hero in her role. She came through and got some beautiful intercepts at the end of the game, but a young player that is just standing up under immense pressure on court and I would be sure that Laura Geitz and Gabby Simpson beside her would just be so proud of the effort that she's doing. Oh, she is amazing to watch, that is for sure. And she will, and she will be on show again this weekend, of course, we've got another rivalry round coming up. It's the Queensland Derby this weekend up against the Lightning on the Sunshine Coast. Claire, how do you see this match panning out? It's going to be a toughy team, Mitch. And not solely because it's just the sunny coast, but because so much is at stake for both teams. Firebirds will want to assert their dominance and their authority back over the sunny coast as they did earlier in the year. And the sunny coast need to win this match because they want to be sitting comfortably in that top four within the next few rounds. So I can't wait to see that Firebirds defensive unit out on court against the Sunshine Coast Lightning attack end. They're sort of fumbling their way a little bit through the season. They've found their they're clicking in their momentum a little bit more in these past few weeks, but I think it's a prime opportunity for our defenders to really work hard against them. But it is also an opportunity for them to put that polish on, like I was saying. They're not going to be able to go up to the coast and take that game away from the Sunny Coast team without having polish on the match and reducing their unforced error rate. Yes, looking forward to it. Claire, thank you again for your time. You're more than welcome. And that's it for another episode of The Fireplace. Be sure to tune in next week. Until then, of course, go Firebirds.